The first step to correctly set up your products and services is creating custom product fields and forms in order to gather all the information your business needs. For our example, let's say you are a company that sells new and reconditioned machines. You could create custom fields that are similar, such as year of manufacture, condition, or size that are common for all machines you sell. These would all fit in the same product form for machines. Now, let's say you also sell warranties. These would need a separate product form because you may need different fields, such as damages covered and type of cover. You can add as many different custom product forms and fields as needed to capture all products you offer. Next, the product line item section allows us to customize the variable information when individual products are entered into opportunities by your users. For our machines, we need to add a product line item field with the available color options so our users can select the customer's preferred color. Additionally, our warranties need an individual start date field when added into an opportunity so we know when they expire. Now we need to add the actual products for our users to work with. Start by deciding whether you want to group products into categories, representing a family of products. We will group our machines into three categories to represent our products, gold, silver, and bronze machines. We then will create a hierarchy by creating warranty subcategories under each machine to reflect our different warranties we offer for each product. Then, we need to create products that fit into each category. I'm going to begin by creating products for each of our warranties. Our top warranty is called the Gold Warranty. The product unit is a system-required field and represents the unit of measure for the product. In our case, it is going to be years to represent the units our warranties cover. We will add an SKU for each of our products to make it easier to identify. In addition, our gold warranty includes a waterproof cover and covers all damages. We will select the gold category for our product and then add a description. Finally, we need to create price lists for our products. Adding price lists enables users to select products that have set prices. These are not required as you can still always manually add a price. Also, you will be able to set a date range as prices often change. The name represents each price list and the dates identify the time period to use the prices you set. You can add prices for each of your created products, good through the date you set. It's easy to update the price list using the Update Prices button where you can add a discount or surcharge. Once all your products are successfully added, you need to add the products grid to the opportunities forms so that your users will be able to select products for their opportunities. This is done by editing the opportunities form and adding the products grid to all pipelines where I want to make our products available. Now that our products are successfully added, our sales users will be able to add products and prices to our opportunities at any stage. You also have the option of adding automatic opportunity value updates based on the pricing of products sold. This is an extremely easy way for your sales team to calculate the opportunity value and account for all products that you sell. It is very easy to update products and pricing for use across your whole team. Please go to our knowledge base and search for products and pricing for more information. And feel free to contact us at support at pipelinersales.com.